Good evening and welcome to the annual Groves Gala. Won't you please welcome your MC for the evening. Hello, hello, good people. How we doing? All right, good to see everyone. Everybody's looking good, dressed in their Sunday's best on a Saturday. Good to see it, good to see it. Well, good evening and welcome to the 45th annual Groves Gala. I am Reggie Wilson. I'm still new here. I'm the sports director at CARE 11. And I am pleased, oh, well, thank you. Thank you. And I'm pleased to be joining you tonight as MC. We're gonna have a great time raising a lot of money together for Groves Learning Organization. But before everyone starts on their salads, I see everybody, I, I finished my salad, but before, we do that, I'd like to invite Dan Morgan, president of Groves Learning Organization, to the stage for a very special moment in the history of GLOW. Dan? Sorry, I needed to come off mute there. Hey, Miriam, can you give me a thumbs up if you can see me on the screen? My internet has been really scratchy today. I'm not sure if you can see me. Can you give me screen sharing? I might need screen sharing for this. Wait, what? This is not Zoom? We're live? We're in person? Yes! Wow, it's a good thing I sprang for the full tux then tonight. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I am really thrilled to be back together in person. This is my third Groves Gala but it is my first one in person. It's weird not to have a green screen behind me. It's great to see all your faces out here engaging with us. Thank you for coming. Now, I know everybody is familiar with the idea of an angel investor. That's an individual or a company that gives support to a startup at critical times in its history. Well, tonight, at the beginning of this program, we are recognizing and giving thanks to the Groves Foundation, who for our 50-year history has stepped in time and again to assist the growth of our organization. The Groves Foundation helped establish Groves Academy 50 years ago and has been supporting scholarships, our facilities, and programming for almost 50 years. And tonight, we've put together a video sharing their why, why they have engaged. Please enjoy. I was going to school and the first grade teacher came to my mom and dad and said, we know that he's smart, but we don't know what's wrong with him. So you need to get him tested. I was diagnosed learning disabled. The good news was they knew what I was and what I had. The bad news was that there was no place in Minnesota for me to go to school. I went to uh, Florida, to Lake Wales School, which was one of only about three other places to go. I was leaving them at, at the age of eight years old going down to Florida and out of that pain she said uh, no other parent should go through this pain of having to send their son or daughter uh, to uh, a school in Florida or a school away from them and they should be a school in Minnesota. So she worked tirelessly to get Grove started. And when Groves was started, I came, up, came back. I was one of the first 20 students at Groves Academy, and Groves changed my life in the aspect, taught me how to read around sentences, how to sound out words, how to study, how to uh, make it so that I could read and write on my own, uh, and it phenomenally changed my life. I wouldn't have been able to go to college without Groves. Groves Foundation feels that Groves Academy is so needy for what it does to the individual's lives, how it changes lives, how it manifests an individual going from being frustrated in school to be blossoming into young adults. And we can't measure how much that affects an individual. 
I know exactly what my parents would think of Groves today. They would be very pleased at Groves. The, they would feel that Groves was exactly what they had hoped and, and envisioned Groves to be at. Parents both believed that the school should be open for everyone that wanted to come to Groves. And in the beginning, early days, virtually was. I mean, they found a way to bring in any student that wanted or could come to the school. And scholarships are that way for us to continue to do that work. I'm very proud of what Groves has turned into. Um, one of the sayings that we talk about at, at the foundation is that we plant seeds not knowing which will grow, but we also sit under the shade of those trees. Groves was a seed that was planted not knowing that it would grow into what it did. But we're very, very proud of the fact of what Groves has turned out to become and is so critical to so many students' lives. story is incredible. We at Groves are so grateful to the support of the Groves Foundation. Please welcome to the stage, Skip Groves. Thank you. The foundation never seeks these awards out. We kind of are private. We um, are happy to have received it. Um, for 50 years, the foundation has supported Groves Academy, or the idea of Groves Academy. Um, I do have two stories to tell you. One of them, how Groves actually was started in my mind of my mother and father. They were at the airport sending me, ready to send me away to Vanguard School in Florida. I was probably eight years old at the time, and my mom and dad uh, were sitting down at the gate at Northwest Orient Airlines ready to send me off. And uh, I looked at my mom, they called the flight, and uh, I said goodbye and ran down the gateway and onto the plane. And. Uh, my mother and father sat there crying for, for a long period of time. And out of that pain, my mother decided that she would start Groves so that no other child would ever have to, um, no other parent would ever have to feel the pain that she was feeling for, that she was feeling at that moment. The other story is how this event started. This event started because at the beginning of Groves, in the beginning years, Groves didn't turn away anyone. They figured it out, whether they, they put people on payment plans or whatever, they figured out a way that everyone that walked through the door got an education or got to go to Groves. About five years into that process, it got more and more expensive to do that, and they wanted to continue to do that operation. So Groves decided, so they decided to start the gala. So 45 years ago of giving to the gala has helped Groves continue to support students in making sure that they got an education that they deserve. Again, thank you very much and have a good evening. So 
Um, I first took a, a visit to Groves this week and I was able to meet with several students and the faculty there and I was just blown away by just the care. Everybody was just truly just happy to be there and I thought that that was just so awesome. Um, I, I did want to kind of share a little bit of, uh, of my story coming up. So in elementary school, I was not reading at the level that the other students were. And there was a student resource teacher who took me aside, called my mom, and told her that they wanted to kind of take me aside and, and teach me a little bit more about, um, just in a different way. And so I don't know what happened with that experience, but it just kind of unlocked some things in my mind to really just allow me to understand a little bit better than I was understanding. And at that point, I went from reading behind the, the students that I was with to reading above them, above their level. And so that was something that was really transformative to me. And so when I went to Groves this past week, it really just kind of opened my mind to just like, wow, there's a whole school that is specializing in unlocking that in other students. And I just think that that's, that's awesome. So thank you so much for, for being here. <laughs> thank you to the, the foundation and, and thank you to all the, the staff and the faculty that, that make it possible for the, the students to really just blossom. Because what I saw this week were students blossoming. So I also want to take some time to thank our fabulous sponsors who helped make this evening possible. So a special thank you to our presenting sponsors, Wagner Spray Tech and the Sanger family. So every dollar raised here tonight goes straight to the mission of Groves, which is to build confidence, success, and purpose through transformative learning experiences. So once again, let's, let's give it up for our sponsors. All right. So if you're worried about the items you bid on in the silent auction, okay, all right, I see you, I see you, okay. <laughs> if you're worried about the items that you bid on in the silent auction, don't be. You can continue bidding up until 7.45 from your phone. So we'll send you a text to give you the countdown before it closes. But right now, it's time to eat, y'all, a little bit more. I know we were eating, you know. But it's time to eat a little bit more. So please enjoy your dinner, and we'll be back with you shortly.